What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be installing an AEM intake system on a Honda Accord. This just came into the mail like about an hour ago. So let's get into the install. But before we install, let's actually see what's inside the box. rubber tubing for the heat shield got my info we got the heat shield itself I'm gonna have to give it a little wipe we got the instruction manual I guess you got a plate frame probably throw it up here and get rid of this We got the, the intake tube, we have the filter, we got the hardware and the coupler. There's actually a decal from the website I got it from. It will be in the link in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself. All right, so we're going to disconnect the power from this car take the battery out the negative side just tuck it away somewhere just to cut all the power before you do the installation all right on the car itself what we're first going to do is going to remove these four clips right here we got one here there we, go. we got one clip here one clip here we got another one right here and another one right here we're gonna take a flathead screwdriver we're gonna put it in you're just gonna try to pry up on these clips. So that's one. Let's take out all four. I got, I got the clips out. These clips do break. I actually broke this one and I broke the one over here. They break, they are cheap. You could get them for probably like a dollar at your hardware store. But after you get these off, you just pull this out. And that's it. We are going to unscrew these two bolts, one here, one over here. It takes a 10 millimeter socket. I already loosened it. I'm gonna have to unscrew the rest of the way. We are going to unscrew this coupler right here. We're gonna unscrew this and take the housing. Take one and two out. So this is an unscrewing, so I'm going to pull out the socket. Next, what we're going to do is we are going to take this box off. We're going to unplug this map sensor first. You just press down on here, then you pull it out like that. Take this out. Lift this out of here. So grip on it. Sorry. I should clip right here. You just pull out. Pull this out. This. Now we gotta get this off. A little clip here. Just push in. It's a little hard. Press 
in, push down. This should just come out. Keep the mask airflow sensor in here until it's time to put it into the new housing just to keep it from getting dirty. Set this off to the side. Now we're gonna take the filter out of here. Take the stock filter out. Still clean. And now we're gonna pull this out of here. You're gonna need to probably force to take it out. You're gonna put your hand in here. You're just gonna pull it out. It is a pretty tight fit. take it out later on but for now let's remove the rest of this make sure this is loose it's actually a tight fitting here there we go next we are going to install this piece onto the heat shield Alright guys, so what I didn't show is I installed this piece right here. It's just secured by a washer. You just put it on the other side and just tighten it down with the washer and the nut. Now we're gonna put this in the engine bay. You're gonna slit this piece right here into this. If this came off your with your um, stock air box, then you would take that off the stock air box and put it on here. In my case, it came off right here. So let's get into to installing it. All right, guys, that's installed. So we're gonna slip this through here, the mass airflow sensor wire, just so we can have it ready. So next, we are going to put the nuts and bolts and all the clips, put this down. We're gonna put all these clips back. You're only gonna need three. We only need one for this. And then we're gonna put the two bolts that's applied hardware that's in the bag. We're gonna put it in here. One, there's two. I'm sorry, there's two. We're gonna tighten that down. So let's get to that. Tightening this. Once we're done tightening that, we're gonna tighten this right here. This one not. So get that in. Now what we are going to do is take the mass airflow sensor out of the stock air box and put it in here. So let's do that right now. Sensor and this only goes one way, so make sure that arrow is 
going towards the Guys, once you get the air flow sensor in, just screw it in. You could use, you could reuse the screws, or you could use their supply screws. I'm just gonna reuse the ones that came with it. Screw it in. Air flow sensor and plug this in. And that's how you get your and that's it for the install. Let's plug the battery back in, get the car started, and hear how it sounds. off the gas that sound of it releasing the air sounds amazing guys so I want to get a few sound clips of the car driving by let y'all hear it from the outside let's get to it Please like, comment, and subscribe. Catch y'all on the next one.